this video we discuss how to get the trends in the solubility of different salts like sulfates carbonates nitrates hydroxides etc of s block elements easily here we do not discuss the theoretical explanation of the solubility but only a trick theoretically solubility depends on two factors lattice and alkali and hydration and alkali lattice and alkali and hydration and alkali and solubility is directly proportional to hydration and alkali solubility is directly proportional to hydration and alkali and inversely proportional to lattice and alkali now the easy method that we use here is as the difference between the radius of cations and anions increases solubility increases what's it as the difference between the radius of cation and anion increases solubility increases okay we will write that as the difference between the radius of cation and anion increases solubility increases we can explain it in this way consider one ionic compound with cation and anion and another compound cation and anion here the ionic radii of both anions and cations are almost equal or there is not much difference in their uh, radius but here you can see that anion is larger than cation so this will be more soluble why it is more soluble because there is more difference between the atomic radius of cation and anion so this trick can be used in most of the compounds and remember it is are not applicable to all the compounds okay but most of the compounds uh, can be explained or the trends in most of the compounds can be explained by using uh, this trick now we will move to the compounds before moving to that we will consider the uh, first group and second group elements you know that first group elements are lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium second group beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium so here lithium is the smallest among the first one and the cesium is the largest and the second group beryllium is the smallest one and barium is the largest barium is smaller than cesium now consider the 17th group 17th group fluorine chlorine bromine iodine or their anions so fluoride ion is the smaller one and iodide larger one so to get the smaller cation and uh, larger anions we will consider fluoride and oh minus are considered as small anions and along with i minus we consider so4 2 minus one sulfur and four oxygen atoms then carbonate co3 2 minus then clo4 minus perchlorate then nitrate all these are considered as larger anions okay so f minus and oh minus are smaller anions and others along with iodide sulfate carbonate perchlorate nitrate all of them are considered as larger anions we move to the compounds consider the first compounds lithium nitrate sodium nitrate potassium nitrate rubidium and cesium nitrate the nitrates of first group elements here lithium is a small cation and nitrate is coming in larger one and cesium is the larger one and nitrate ion is also here the difference in the atomic radius is more in the case of lithium nitrate so lithium nitrate must be having more solubility than sodium nitrate potassium nitrate and rubidium nitrate so this will be the trend now we move to the second one perchlorates lithium perchlorate nacl4 kcl4 rubidium here also lithium is small and clo4 is large and here cesium as well as 
uh, CLO4 minus both are large, so the difference in their atomic radius is less here. So CSCL4, the solubility of CSCL4 will be very less, or LiCl4 will be more soluble. So this will be the trend. Now we move to the iodides of first group elements, cesium and iodide ion. So both are larger, so the trend will be like this. Now hydroxide. So this is the third one. Here it is the fourth one. Lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and up to cesium hydroxide. Hydroxide is considered as a smaller anion. So lithium is small and hydroxide is also small. But here in the case of cesium is uh, larger one, but OH minus is small. So the difference in the atomic radius is more in the case of cesium hydroxide. So solubility is more for cesium hydroxide. So the trend will be like this. So uh, the first four compounds are from the first group compounds. Now we move to the second group compound. So the sulfates of second group, beryllium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, and all. And here too, beryllium is the first element of the second group. So that is considered as a small cation, but sulfate, sulfur with four oxygen atom, it is a larger one here, but barium is the last element of that. After strontium, barium is the last element. So both are larger one, cations and anions, both are larger ones. So beryllium sulfate will be more soluble than barium sulfate. And carbonate also the same thing. Carbonate is also a larger anion or due to three oxygen atoms and one carbon, but beryllium is small. The cation is small and the anion is big. So this will be the order here. Now, in the case of hydroxides, so this is the sixth one, this is the seventh one. In the case of hydroxides, beryllium is the first element, so it is small, and hydroxide is also small. So both are small anions and small cations. Then here, but barium, barium is a larger one, less, and anion is very small, barium hydroxide. So uh, more difference in the atomic radius for barium hydroxide. So this will be more soluble. Now come to the eighth one. Actually, it is of the first group elements, okay? So uh, lithium fluoride, sodium fluoride, among the fluorides, lithium is small and fluoride or fluorine is the first element of 17th group element, right? So that is also small. So both cation and anion, both are small, but cesium cation is larger one and fluorine or fluoride ion is small one. So solubility is more for cesium fluoride. So this will be the trend. So now uh, I hope uh, the, the trends in solubility uh, won't be a problem for you. So this, this is very easy. So uh, we did not uh, discuss a uh, few compounds, right? Uh, sulfates and carbonates of first two group elements we did not uh, discuss. So that cannot be uh, discussed or that cannot be explained with uh, this method. At the beginning I told a few uh, compounds uh, cannot be explained uh, by this method. And their order is just opposite to what we have explained here. Here we have seen that uh, if the difference in that of gradient is, is more, then more solubility. But in the case of sulfates of first group elements, it is just opposite sulfates as well as carbonate. It is just opposite to this. Hope the topic is clear. Thank you.